Hello, hello, hello. How are y'all? Hope you're doing great. Welcome to Road Odyssey. I'm Burke, and I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. Please subscribe. I would really appreciate that very much. And the topic today is C8 sales. Now, this is not new news, but it's fairly current news. Up through third quarter 2021 sales. So, in this video, living in America, um, I'm keeping all of this information pretty much relative to us here in America. So, the article or two that I've seen and some of the data I have seen shows that the C8 Corvette is still selling extremely well. Very high numbers relative to only its own sales segment. Now, when you break out the C8 Corvette into a more, I would say, real world context, I end up using the Ford Mustang to compare the C8 to because we tend to a lot anyway. And so when you compare the C8 Corvette sales to the Ford Mustang, vastly different worlds, very different. The C8 is selling very well, but when you compare it to other sports cars, kind of using that term very loosely, the C8 does not sell nearly as many cars as Mustangs, uh, any of the Dodges, the Charger, Challenger, whatever. So in this video, I'm keeping it real and just sharing with you what I have on the C8 Corvette cells. So let's take a bit of a look at this. Here we go. This year, 2021, by the third quarter, the C8 has seriously outsold all other premium sports cars in its sales segment. The closest competitor, the Porsche 911, has been far outsold by about four times in this year to date. The Ford GT has terrible sales number. Quarter 3, 2019, 52 sold. Quarter 3, 2020, 50 sold. Quarter 3, 2021, 40 sold. So they're going from 52 to 50 to 40. Bad news for the Ford GT. Also liked looking at the BMW i8, which may be nonsense by now, but quarter three, 2019, 259. Yeah, not too bad. Quarter three, 2020. Wow, 48. That's a drop. Quarter three, 2021. Down to two. <laughs> that is terrible for the i8, but this thing's going away anyway. We know that some of these poor and declining numbers for the competitors of the C8 is coming from the chip shortage and the advent of the electric platforms. Since the C8 has been seen testing with the NSX, perhaps for the E-Ray Corvette, how did the NSX perform? Well, the NSX went from quarter three, 2019, with 51 sold, quarter three, 2020, 28 sold, back up to quarter three, 2021, 58 sold. So the NSX had, or has, encouraging numbers for right now. That's good for the NSX and may indicate that the E-Ray could have a fairly stable number of sales in the future. Although this is hugely speculative, of course. I wanted to throw in here, again, the Toyota Supra. This is not considered part of the same sales class, but I think it's a good competitor. Its sales were quarter 3, 2019, 1477, quarter 3, 2020, 1504, went up a little bit, and quarter 3, 2021, really shot up to 58.25. So that's pretty good numbers for the Supra. 
it's still half or thereabouts of the C8. This could be due to the wane in popularity of the Supra and that it's a mixed bag of tricks being part BMW and part Toyota, which is giving it mixed reactions. Do the C8 sales reflect that the car is selling as expected? Well, quarter three, 2019, 4766 sold. Quarter three, 2020, 6355 sold. And quarter three, 2021, 10,000. 166. This is a healthy upward trend. Considering that GM is selling them as fast as they are made, these sales figures really are pretty fantastic for historical sales of the Corvette. How does the C8 stack up against the Ford Mustang brand? I'm asking this question as a reality check using the Mustang as a control to validate how the C8 Corvette sales can be viewed as being very excellent sale numbers. In 2021, year to date, right now, Ford has sold over 41,000 Mustangs. GM has sold about almost 25,000 C8s. Big difference. This might be accounted for by lower Mustang prices, perhaps some of the production difficulties that both manufacturers have had, and the differences in their sales segments. And additionally, how people have been flipping the C8s and dealerships and other people adding tens of thousands of dollars to the C8 price. This little bit of information is kind of interesting, though. Right now, quarter three, 2021, Ford sold a little over 9,000 Mustangs compared to GM selling over 10,000 C8s. I find that very interesting. I feel that GM got the production at the Bowling Green plant going consistently and we are starting to see some real numbers come out on how popular this car is. And this is just quite amazing to me. Here's where I want to get into the reality check. I want to use the Mustang as a control. So saying that the Mustang just kills the C8 in cells, let's just look at this a little closer. You have 61,000 Mustangs sold in 2020. Back in 2019, over 72,000 were sold. Compared to the C8, it just can't even get half as many sold as the Mustang. Furthermore, if you even try to throw in GM's Camaro sales, that wouldn't even help to compare to the sale of the Mustangs. In conclusion, comparing the C8 to other cars in its sales segment is great. The C8 is still hitting very good numbers and is pounding the direct competitors to death. On the side of simply comparing the C8 sales to those that compete but are in different sales segments like the Mustang, here again, the reality is the C8 is nowhere near the same sales level. Historically, though, this has always been the case. Again, comparing the C8 to the Mustang, using the Mustang as the control or a gauge to compare the Corvette to, the Corvette sales have always been lower. Yet the Corvette seems to sell in a very consistent manner regardless of buyer trends. I just wanted to give a little bit of context, both from the actual sales segment that the C8 belongs to, and to a bit more of a real world view. While the C8 selling extremely well, and most of us are very happy about this fact, it is still a smaller sales segment that reaches a hugely smaller group of buyers, 
especially when you start looking at the pricing of the C8 compared to other cars like the Mustang. All right, that'll do it for this video on C8 Corvette sales up to this point, quarter three, 2021. And really, what does it mean? So it means the Corvette is selling extremely well. They're being produced and shipped out fairly quick. And uh, the numbers are, are really meaningful. Uh, the Corvette is really very popular. So fantastic car. So that's just basically good news for a lot of us who <clears throat> kind of like Corvettes a little bit. But I like Mustangs too. I've actually looked into the Mustang Mach-E. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this. Please relax. Take it easy. And I will see you later. Bye.